welcome to the first episode of Pro Traders Price Action Course with me, Simon Davis, aka Zone Trader. The question I've been asking myself recently is what do I wish I knew when I first started trading? First thing I would want to know if when I first started trading about price action is how to read the market, the market language. Once you know the market language, you can read the market like a book. So the market language such as order blocks, breakers, turtle soups, run on stops, voids, support and resistance. Well, the last one was a bit of a joke, really, because support. I know a lot of retailers use support and resistance, and you see a lot of support and resistance, and talk, people talk about it, but it's not really what's going on. But you'll understand that as I go through order box breakers and turtle soups, you'll understand that support and resistance is in effect there, but it's not really what's happening in the market. And I would like to explain what's happening in the market. So, as you can see, we're on the hour chart and it's very clean. And one major thing I've picked up in my years of trading Forex is the speed of the market. So you've got very, very slow moves, small candles, small candles, and then large candles, the speed of the market, large candles, speed of the market, large candles, speed of the market. And as you can see, I'll cover a breaker. So we've come down from a large downtrend. Then we get a fast move away from this up candle. Which is the last up candle before the fast down move. Which runs stops below here. So this candle here pull out in time is a breaker. You also have order blocks, fast moves as well. So we have an order block here. The reason why I know it's an order block is it's a fast move away from the down candle which is a bullish order block. Going back to the breaker, can you see how fast price moves away from these candles? See how price fast moves. See how fast price moves away from this down candle, this down candle, this down candle. And if you mark these out, these are all order blocks. You can also join the high up. It comes right down almost to the pit. So a breaker is a low for a bullish breaker is a low a lower low then you go to the middle and find the up candle before the down move once price surges through that which it does here look how fast it surges through all the way breaks it completely which then creates this to be a breaker otherwise it would be an order block but it broke so it's a breaker then price comes back down on top of it you can then be in for a buy in roundabout London Open for a nice 50 pip move off a, an hourly breaker and then look to take partials or all your position off at the nearest high it swept the high <clears throat> into an order block Fast move away from the up candle, returns toward the block, and also takes stops above these resting highs. So, this is a bearish order block, an up move before the fast down move, comes back to take stops above the high. So, we have order blocks and breakers. As you can see here, they happen all the time we have order block here order block here we have a messy breaker here 
but it breaks it, turns to it. You can look to sell here and also here because of the order block. So we've reached a high here, uh, sorry, we've reached a low here, we ran stops. Came up high here to run stops. So I'm trying to teach you the market language, so it's order box, breakers, turtle soups, run on stops. These are also turtle soups, it's like run on stops as well. Turtle soup, turtle soup. Turtle soup is where the price runs to stop, takes the high, comes back into the range, can enter on back into the range. We have a, a break here. But price rallies away fast from the up candle, returns to it, you can buy. Order block. As you can see, there's many more. This is a breaker. Order block. So that's the first thing I wish I knew when I first started trading was basics, order blocks, breakers, turtle soups. As you can see here today, it's created a turtle soup. There's an order block here because this is potentially a fast move because it was a gap, it's still a fast move away from the down candle. Order block, prices rallied away nicely, reaching for at least here. If you got in on the order block, it's a 45th move so far. But then we have voids. Fast moves down, voids get filled majority of the time. So we had a void on the way down, it's half filled into a breaker. Then a void all the way down gets filled into an order block. You can also join them together as well, two candles, because this will just create a two hour order block. These happen on all time frames. So you got the daily, and that brings me on to direction, directional bias on the 10 and 20 EMA. So you can also have order blocks on the daily, but obviously I wouldn't enter solely on the daily, but if you find an order block on the daily, then you drop down and find an order block on the hourly, it's gonna be a high probability trade. So here we have the 10, uh, on the daily we have the 10 and 20 EMA, and if, if the 10 and 20 EMA are going up, you should really only look at buys, and if the 10 and 20 EMA is going down, the 20 is over the 10. If we're going down on a downtrend, you only look for sells. And you can find breakers on the daily as well. Last up move before the big down move. Run stops, turtle soup, breaks the breaker. So we've got one, run stops, two. Break breaker, three, return to breaker, four, enter the trade. And if you enter this trade, it's actually 700 not pips. And then look to take partials at highs and to potentially reach to the end. And if you look, see a daily order block here, price is a daily order block here, and we're in consolidation. Price is deciding where to go from now. So that concludes the first episode of Pro Traders Price Action Course with me, Sam Davis, also known as Firm Trader. I hope this has helped you in your forex development and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment below any questions you might have and I'll be sure to answer them. Until next time, stay patient, stay focused, and have fun.